I want to kind of transition to the game, the Xbox Game Pass family plan. So uh, people in the chat were asking what the exact uh, specifics were uh, for what Jez Corden had in his article. So, folks, I have it here uh, for you. I'm going to read verbatim from the article, which, of course, will be added to the show notes. So if you didn't read the article, it's rather, it's rather beefy. It's a big read, but it's a really good one. I'm going to read you the three paragraphs, uh, what Jez Corden had to say regarding specifically the Xbox family plan coming back. He says this, I've also heard very tentatively that uh, rumors that the Xbox Game Pass friends and family uh, plan experiment is not dead. We here at Windows Central exclusively revealed that the Xbox Game Pass family plan experiment uh, in yesteryear, of course, talking about last year, and Microsoft later tested it in a couple of territories before pulling it. Obviously, this could be a great way to get the next generation into Xbox and console gaming since it would be far more cost-effective for parents of youngsters to buy one multi-user plan over several separate, separate Xbox Game Pass plans. The article goes on to say, ladies and gentlemen, one of the best things about Xbox Game Pass is lowering the barriers to vary um, to variety of gaming for individuals, but it defeats the point if you have to buy five separate subscriptions for your small family. And sure, I know most kids these days are happy to play around in Roblox or Fortnite on an iPad, but there's no reason why Xbox Game Pass couldn't bring some benefits forward uh, and into those games as well. Microsoft is already doing a partnership in this vein with Riot Games for free titles like League of Legends. Either way, the family plan would be a great place to rapidly expand the total number of users attached and who are loving the service. So, Again, this is a, a segue, ladies and gentlemen, into the first uh, topic. But, Umbra, I, I want to go to you. Having a family plan is incredibly important, and I'm going to tell you why. I know several people personally who have multiple Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriptions because their entire household are all gamers. This is an opportunity, like the article and like Jez Corden is suggesting, that if they could get people, and again, how many people? Well, originally it was pitched upwards of five people, including yourself. So it would have been you and four additional family members for this, this low monthly price rather than uh, your, your own subscription monthly service fee as well as four others. I don't know what it could be. Is it? $39.99 that gives you upwards of four people plus yourself. That seems fair, but this is something that definitely needs to come back in a big way. And again, I run it parallel to having a cloud tier at an entrance fee of like eight bucks. There has to, this has to come back. Let's get your hot take. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's been a long time coming too because that that was like rumored or whatever or said so long ago. I think many people probably just kind of like you know put it out of sight, out of mind. But uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm in the boat where I don't really have the need for it right now because I do game sharing. So I have ultimate and I game share with my nephew. So. You know, the one I told you all I forced to help buy the seventy dollar games. Um so <laughs> so I'm okay for now, but I can definitely see this working for a lot of people as far as I mean, you can also do this in so many ways to go about it, obviously, with friends you trust and things like that, which will help lower the cost for you overall. I think it's just yeah. a smart play in general. Um, just cost effective. You just call you cut down your your cost and things like that. And in the world where we're all like subscribe to like 30 things, you know, less of a charge for one thing would definitely be helpful. Uh, so it, it also does that. It, it can also, I think it can, for Xbox, it can be beneficial because it can, I think, increase, you know, player engagement. You go to have more people 
probably jumping on if that is the case to try out all, all of these games. You know, I, yeah. I will I will say though, I think the reason why they've been hesitant to do this family plan is because of the the tricks that we are going to pull, which is getting friends and everybody to pay where we have to pay a minimal amount and they're not really going to make all the money they want to make. So that's probably why this has never come out, being honest. Um what else would I say? Um, you know, I think one way to really entice us to do that is if the family plan, we had a discussion, I think, what was it at? I, f- I think it was on Kay Asante's show. It was on Kay and Everborn's show where it was floated. At, you know what? Actually, no, it was floated on Infinite Podcast and then carried on 2Ks. So on Infinite, we had a poll we put up and it was about uh, would you pay? The reason why I've mentioned Kay, because Kay was on the show that time with us, me, him, and Risky talking. And I floated the idea and then Kay expanded on it and he said, he would absolutely pay for a plan that had Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, EA Play, EA uh, Play Plus yeah. or whatever, yeah. and and uh, Ubisoft Plus. So EA Play Pro, that's the name, and Ubisoft Plus. If they had all those in, if he said like forty dollars a month, he would do it, right? So maybe if they could expand or at least uh, put out a family plan that includes all of those or one of those included with it for a strong price. I, I would say I'm just going to go all out and say if they concluded all three for that price, that will be something that, re- you know, they could probably charge 40 or 50 a month. I don't want to get yeah, into too many I, I crazy was thinking, ideas. you know, before it's funny you say that uh, now again, folks, don't, don't, don't throw the virtual tomatoes. I'm just trying to make <laughs> this make sense. Uh, if the tier that I actually see being beneficial uh, for everyone involved, would be a tier that would be forty nine ninety nine that included uh, upwards of five people. Meaning that if you had five people in your household, including yourself, that would be literally half the price of what five people would pay monthly at twenty dollars a pop, equaling a hundred a month. If you paid forty nine ninety nine a month, uh, you could get your yourself and four other additional people for half price you would still maintain everything you get now with game pass ultimate you can play on pc you can play on cloud you can play in your console it's day and date releases and i think that price is not only fair but it does win for everybody because you that means that you could logistically get xbox game pass for ten dollars a month which would equate to about uh, $120 a year if you separate it with the other four mm-hmm. people that are, would be trustworthy. If you can get trustworthy people on it, because I, I see my man, he said, I'm not paying 50 a month for nothing. I get you, brother. Trust me. But if you can get four, four other reliable people besides yourself, that is $10 a month for you. And you would have Game Pass Ultimate. You would have um, Game Pass, excuse me, EA Play yep. Pro and Ubisoft Plus. That would be a steal at fifty dollars a month to get all of those. I'm just, I'm just saying, ten dollars a month, personally for yourself, as long as you have somebody reliable to work with. Right. If the other people keep up their end of the bargain. Ten dollars a month is nothing. Yep. If you can find, you know, four other people, other friends that could do this with you, that is a W. Hell, we could probably, honestly. If <laughs> being honest, you could probably do this with, you know, the community, being like, hey. We're going to start this thing where we all game share, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you can get some trustworthy people in the community, it could be done. Honestly, it could be something, maybe a part of, uh, nah, I mean, I don't want to go too far. But, yeah, it could be, <laughs> I just think it could be something that could be done in the community if you can find some trustworthy people. And so, I, I don't know. I think it's a it's a possible W, I would say. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely agree. Jamie, let's, let's bring you in on, on the conversation of the family plan. I, I think that this is something... That absolutely needs to happen. The market, I understand as, look, just watch the news, folks. Everything is expensive. Uh, The first thing that goes when things are too expensive for you are entertainment. The one thing that we do not want to give up is gaming. Uh, It allows for us to get away from this horrible world and just enjoy gaming. This is a great opportunity for Microsoft to bring back a program that they talked about they put on the shelf, but I think 
has a big relevant part of where gaming is currently and where it's going. Let's get your hot take. Yeah, so like I personally don't have like children, but I can right. imagine that people with kids, uh, like Game Pass must be expensive at the minute if you have several children, all that play video games. And like the way game sharing works, like doing that with multiple accounts across multiple different consoles, like I can see that being a bit weird on Xbox Live's front when it comes to like, you know, maybe, I don't know, detection fraud or something on their end. Uh, I honestly think it'll happen. Uh, I think it's just a matter of time. I think the main issue for it not happening, like you said, is that uh, people will abuse the hell out of it. <laughs> uh, gamers are fickle, and they will find ways to get like Game Pass cheap. Uh, people were doing the you know one dollar trick for a while. Uh, people will abuse it. Uh, so I think Microsoft they put they pretty much trying to find a way to like make it so you can't. Maybe they'll make it so. I think the best way to do it would be to make sure people are using the same uh, Wi-Fi network. Um, but it's 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 going to be a weird tightrope for Microsoft to to walk because Microsoft's had great deals in the past when it comes to their services. Like I I always used to talk about this all the time. Microsoft Awards, that is that was and that still says the best loyalty program on earth, right? Yep. I, mean, I never really made a post about this because, you know, it only affected British people and 90% of the people that follow me aren't British. So in the UK, up until about April, I was making close to a thousand Microsoft reward points a day. And wow. yeah, and you, you wow. got, yeah, you got 250 points uh, basically just for playing a PC game for 15 minutes. Right. So like I bought a Starfield controller just by saving up for a month. Right, That's and it, it paid for my game pass, <laughs> and I worked out I was making about twenty eight pounds per month via Microsoft award points, and then they changed it in April to the point where now I think it's something like fifteen pounds. Um, so like you know, not enough people are using Bing and their services to like Microsoft give out all those points, but it was it was a really good deal. It paid for Game Pass, still really does pay for Game Pass, and but people. They, they load the amount of points you can get because one, people aren't using Bing that much. And two, people abused the living hell out of Microsoft Awards. These people that abused it ruined it for me. Right? People would have multiple different accounts. And back in uh, before 2022, you could send Microsoft Award points to other accounts. So people would literally earn points on one account and just send it to the different accounts so they could buy games. People that abused it ruined it for everyone else. So now Microsoft Awards is in a worse place than it ever has been. It might get better. I hope it does. And I think that's what Microsoft is worried about when it comes to Game Pass. Because, look, most people that subscribe to Game Pass, they want a good deal. That's what Game Pass is. But if people can figure out a way to like abuse the system, they will. And guess what? That will ruin it for all of us. All of us. And that's the biggest worry. So, like, I hope Microsoft gets the family plan sorted. It's something I think they need to because of the amount of families with Game Pass, but they can't have a system in place that can be abused because when people will abuse it, they'll ruin Game Pass for literally every subscriber on the planet. And yeah. like, I, like I just said, it happened with Microsoft Rewards. They can't let that happen to Game Pass because when it comes to Xbox, Game Pass is the bread and butter of the entire you know platform. 